If you're looking for a place that satisfies the longing for breathtaking natural scenery, varied wildlife, and vibrant culture, Canada will do the trick. It's no wonder why this country is beloved by visitors all over the world. About 60% of the world's lakes can be found in Canada. From outdoor adventures, including ice hockey and delicious poutine, to gorgeous northern lights and polite people. The stunning places in Canada won't disappoint. It seems impossible to pick the best places to visit in Canada. But we gave it a shot. In today's video, we'll rank the top 25 places to visit in Canada. Number 25. Bruce Peninsula National Park the Bruce Peninsula is one of the most stunning vistas in Ontario, stretching between Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. Within a few yards of dense old forests, one can observe unique orchids, vivid green ferns, and ancient cedar trees clinging to the sheer cliffs that plunge into the ominous dark waters of the Georgian Bay. Number 24. Revelstoke Revelstoke has been a popular destination ever since its days as a rowdy railroad town. It is the location of Mount Revelstoke National Park, which provides breathtaking views and a selection of good runs for walkers of all skill levels. This ski area is also well known for its extraordinary steep vertical descent. At around 5,610 feet, it is the longest in all of North America. Number 23. Montmorency Falls Set in the heart of Quebec, the breathtaking Montmorency Falls are a flowing sight not to be missed. The 83-meter-high falls, which join the St. Lawrence River and the Montmorency River, are grandly spectacular. Even though you can use the cable car to get to the cliff, be sure to return via the stairway to the base of the falls, where you'll find breathtaking views at various points along the trail. Number 22. Garibaldi Lake Located about 19 kilometers south of Whistler, in the coast mountains of British Columbia, lies the stunning alpine cold lake known as Garibaldi Lake. The lake is a well-liked location for hikers and environment enthusiasts because of its turquoise waters, surrounding snow-capped mountains, and amazing plant and animal life. Number 21. Yellowknife, Canada the Northwest Territory's capital, Yellowknife, is located about 250 miles south of the Arctic Circle in Canada. Yellowknife is the coldest city overall, has the coldest winter, the worst wind chill, and the longest snow cover season out of the 100 Canadian communities surveyed by Environment Canada. In addition to being one of the world's coldest towns and having a rich history of the gold rush, Yellowknife is a destination for adventurers, offering activities like dog sledding, snowmobiling, and hiking in the midnight sun. Number 20. Old Quebec, Quebec Unlike anywhere else in Canada, the quaint village of Old Quebec has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its picturesque streets and stone architecture. This town is one of the most visited places, not just in Quebec, but also across the entire nation, because it seems to have a different protected monument or landmark around every turn. Number 19. Columbia Lake Columbia Lake is the source of the Columbia River in British Columbia. It is a freshwater lake with warm and clear water, excellent for fishing for whitefish, kokanee, burbot, bull trout, rainbow trout, and cutthroat trout. The lake is also a favorite destination for windsurfers, kayakers, and canoeists alike. The beautiful landscape of the marshes and wetlands is perfect for outdoor activities like hiking, mountain riding, and taking photographs of nature. Number 18. Vancouver Vancouver, the largest city in Western Canada, is bursting at the seams with intriguing opportunities. Its rich cultural attractions wonderfully complement its natural beauty, which is nestled between the mountains of the Pacific Ocean. Vancouver's 550-foot lookout offers breathtaking views of the city and its surroundings, and the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra regularly puts on outstanding performances. 
You can also take a forbidden walking tour through the seedier parts of town or go on a nature excursion to Shannon Falls. And don't pass up the opportunity to go on a whale watching trip, where you may look for humpbacks, orcas, and gray whales in the company of an expert naturalist. Number 17. Old Town Toronto, Ontario Toronto is a bustling metropolis full of skyscrapers and bright lights. Old Town Toronto will give you a look into the city's history and life as it was in the late 1800s. In contrast to the skyscraping cosmopolitan structures that can be seen in the other areas, Old Town consists of brick buildings that were constructed during the 19th century and are no taller than three floors. Number 16. Mingan Monoliths the Mingan Islands are a collection of around 40 islands situated in the eastern St. Lawrence lowlands. The islands are characterized by massive limestone monoliths that rise abruptly from the water, some of which are completely bare and others of which are covered in sparse vegetation. Number 15. Calgary As far back as anybody can remember, the Calgary Stampede has been the city's claim to fame. This massive rodeo draws contestants and attendees from all over the world. However, Calgary offers a lot more activities than just roping cattle. Canmore Caves features vast caves that are well worth exploring, and Studio Bell features musical displays that are sure to get your blood pumping. You can also visit the Scotia Bank Saddle Dome to catch a hockey game or visit the Talu Spark Science Center to explore a world of discovery. Number 14. Baffin Island, Nunavut Baffin Island in the Canadian territory of Nunavut is the place to go if you want to experience the rural, distant side of life in the country. The largest island in Canada, Baffin Island, has some of the most breathtaking scenery that you won't find anyplace else. The island is much above the Arctic Circle, therefore throughout the summer you'll get to witness the peculiar midnight sun. Number 13. Bow Lake Bow Lake is easily recognizable from the roadway thanks to its stunningly blue waters. It's one of the largest lakes in Banff National Park. Your visit will be rewarded by the beautiful lake views, breathtaking alpine meadows bursting with wildflowers, and ultimately by the glacier and the waterfall. Number 12. Whistler You can't think of Whistler without picturing skiers. Blackcomb Mountain and Whistler Mountain are indeed two of the best ski resorts in the world, boasting world-class slopes and breathtaking scenery. When in Whistler, you can visit the free summer concert series at Whistler Olympic Plaza, indulge in some delectable cuisine during the spring culinary series, or experience the thrill of Crankworx Whistler Bicycle Stunt Competition. Number 11. Cypress Hills, Saskatchewan Flat, wide-open prairies aren't all, that aren't all that Saskatchewan has to offer. Greener and more verdant parts of the province can be found in Cypress Hills. Since the surrounding areas contain four separate habitats, there's a wider variety of flora and wildlife than in most other places in the world. Number 10. The Laurentians The Laurentians are a mountain range in southern Quebec, a stunning, lush region lined with rolling hills, dense woods, and clear lakes. They are a popular recreational area for Montreal locals, including kids. After a quick trip from Montreal, you may take the kids to the exciting water park, Mont saint Your Park Aquatique, or spend a few hours, or the entire weekend, skiing at one of the 13 ski resorts. Number 9. Cape Breton Highlands National Park Cape Breton Highlands is home to breathtaking views from mountaintops to oceanfront. Hiking is the greatest way to see it all, and the park has hundreds of paths that are appropriate for hikers of all skill levels. If you would rather travel by car, you may take a trip along the famous Cabot Trail, which is a well-known road that winds along the coast and through the stunning panoramas that are found within the park itself. Number 8. Lac La Ronge Lake Lac La Ronge Lake in Saskatchewan is the ideal location to take in the splendor of nature during the hot summer months. Although you'll need a boat to get there, 
the Lac Ronge is a beautiful lake, perfect for all kinds of outdoor recreation, including but not limited to canoeing, camping, and mountain biking. If you visit in the winter, you'll also have the chance to track through the snow to see some of Canada's spectacular sunsets. Number 7. Nunavut Nunavut is Canadian territory which, also which is also only reachable by ship or airplane, and is enormous, roughly the size of Western Europe. In addition to the northern lights, visitors can also spot polar bears, walruses, seals, and whales while exploring the area. Additionally, you can go dog sledding, fishing, seeing wildlife, trekking, or studying Inuit art and their intriguing ancient culture. Number 6. Niagara Falls Located on both the American and Canadian sides of the border, Niagara Falls consists of three separate waterfalls that, when merged, provide a combined drop of 165 feet and a flow rate of around 6 million cubic feet per minute. Although there are around 500 waterfalls in the world that are higher, Niagara Falls is amazing for its raw strength. Additionally, millions of regional tourists can travel there more easily than many other major falls. Number 5. Golden This modest mountain town of Golden serves as an ideal destination to explore when in Canada. There are lodges and B&Bs in the area that are only accessible via helicopter, befitting its reputation as a haven for the brave and the adventurous. You may go hiking, mountain biking, kayaking, whitewater rafting, skiing, ice climbing, and many more activities right outside the town. Number 4. Montreal Montreal has long had a reputation as one of Canada's most exciting cultural hubs. For individuals who like to spend a lot of time exploring a busy city, Montreal has no shortage of entertaining things to do. There seems to always be a huge festival happening in Montreal. From the world-famous Jazz Festival to the hilarious Just for Laughs Festival. Number 3. Chiacamus Lake Located in Garibaldi Provincial Park, just a, sh just a short 3 kilometers from Whistler's main downtown area, Chiacamus Lake is a beautiful, tranquil lake perfect for relaxing. The lake has a wild vibe and appears enigmatic and secretive because it is surrounded by old-growth cedars and firs. The trip to Chikamus Lake is an easy one. Along the way, there are many opportunities to take beautiful photographs of the local fauna and flora, including birds and wildflowers. Number 2. St. John's St. John's has plenty of charm if you're looking for a touch of East Coast flavor. It's not only the provincial capital of Newfoundland and Labrador, but also the most easterly city in the country. You can admire some of the stunning ships in the port before visiting one of the neighboring eateries to try some of the most recent catches, including Saltwater Restaurant or Adelaide Oyster House. Number 1. Maligny Lake it should come as no surprise that Maligny Lake tops the list of the most beautiful tourist attractions in Canada. Maligny Lake, a 22-kilometer-long turquoise jewel set in the heart of Jasper National Park in the Canadian Rockies, is surrounded by the deep green of gigantic spruces and lodgepole pines. The lake, which is fed by the meltwaters of the Coronet Glacier, is an exceedingly well-liked location for visitors, enthusiastic fishers, campers, kayakers, and people who enjoy being one with nature from all over the world. Canada is renowned for its warm and welcoming people, rich cultural heritage, and breathtaking natural beauty. Whether it's a taste of history, the thrill of the great outdoors, or the buzz of the big metropolis, this enormous country genuinely has something for everyone.